I'm Mira Gatlin and I'm Assistant Teaching Professor of Public Health here at the Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine and I oversee the DVM MPH program. The DVM MPH program is a four-year dual degree program. It's offered here at the Cummings School, so as a veterinary student, you'd be taking public health coursework with students in the Tufts School of Medicine in the Department of Public Health and Community Medicine. Now that's in Boston, but have no fear, most of your curriculum is here in Grafton and you have the flexibility to take courses either remotely or in person. We have two goals in this program. One is to ensure you have a basic conceptual understanding of public health, and two, we synthesize that with veterinary medicine. So the basic conceptual understanding of public health is the core curriculum that every MPH student takes. And what we do to synthesize it with veterinary medicine is to adapt it to a lot of pressing concerns nowadays. So emerging zoonotic diseases, climate change concerns, um, disaster response, food safety and security, and even government leadership. And that's just the curriculum. We also ensure students get field experience between uh, summer of first and second year, as well as summer of second and third year. They work with local community partners and have the opportunity to conduct research. Your public health education continues into your clinical year as you think about applying the knowledge and skills that you learn in your didactic curriculum in the clinical rotations and on the clinic floor as well. So why should you complete an MPH here at Tufts alongside your DVM education? Well, here are four reasons. One is that it provides you with an immense amount of flexibility in your career and curriculum. Our graduates have worked in academia, in NGOs, in industry, and local boards of health all the way up to federal agencies like the CDC. Um, our graduates are also in high demand for both clinical and non-clinical positions as well. It's a well-recognized degree and it's adaptable to all healthcare professions as well. Also, there is cross-disciplinary education by taking curriculum and content with the MPH students in Boston, again, either remotely or in person, we are ensuring diversity, equity, inclusion in all of your course content and material as well. We'll now hear from four current veterinary students on their experiences in the DVM MPH program. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm in the class of 2024 and I'm from Virginia. Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm in the class of 2025 and I'm from Illinois. Hi, I'm Masley. I'm in the class of 2026 and I'm from Massachusetts. And hi, I'm Renner. I'm in the class of 2027 and I'm from Minnesota. Why did you choose this program or what attracted you to this program? So part of the reason why I love public health so much is because I love people just as much as I love animals. And I really think there are a few things in this world that are a true win-win situation, but I think that veterinary public health is exactly that. By benefiting the health of humans, we are also benefiting the health of animals and vice versa. And one of the things I love the most about this program specifically is that it takes a really holistic view of veterinary public health. When most people think of veterinary public health, they immediately think of zoonotic disease, which is absolutely super relevant and super important, but it actually encompasses so much more than that. It encompasses things such as affordable veterinary care, uh, human wildlife conflict, and things such as ensuring the health of our livestock to make sure that they are both healthy and productive so we have ways to continue feeding our people. And that's part of the reason why I love this program and Dr. Gatlin so much is because we truly incorporate all aspects of veterinary public health and it makes me feel much more prepared to be a uh, public health practitioner in the future. Um, for me, I took a lot of classes at UNH and I was really I'm interested in getting a different perspective on my education um, aside like my animal science courses and I saw a lot of overlap between the courses and uh, just things that I was interested in and a lot of things in medical disparities and public health um, both on the human aspect but also in the animal field. Um, so I was really interested in seeing how I can collaborate um, my two interests and um, really combine them together um, and so I decided to look into different um, programs and things like that and luckily Tufts had a program um, and it was really nice to have a school that had public health learning um, within the four years of the DVM program because I won't lie I didn't want to be in school longer than four more years <laughs> so I really like that aspect of the program. I'm personally very interested in epidemiology and improving the health of both um, animals and humans on an individual level as well as a population level. Um, through this program I'm hoping to continue to explore that connection between humans and animals, both domestic and wild animals. What has been your most valuable experience in this program so far? Uh, there's been so many great experiences that we've been able to have as a cohort with Dr. Gatlin just throughout all four years now at this point. Um, and I think for me, the most memorable experience and most valuable experience has been being pushed to go outside my comfort zone and 
in our summer between first and second year, I spent uh, the summer working with a swine exclusive veterinary practitioner out in Ames, Iowa. And that really pushed me in determining what I wanted to do with my life and what I wanted to do in terms of public health. And I learned a lot about how our food animal system is run. I learned a lot about how swine medicine is run and what it means to do herd health in an industrial setting. And it really did point me in the direction of becoming a swine practitioner. I would say that my most valuable experience thus far has been designing my own research project that had to do with veterinary public health. So my specific interests within public health include education and honeybee medicine, and I have been given the opportunity to create a research project that uh, examines both of those very, very closely, specifically um, how we can educate veterinarians and veterinary professionals more in honeybee medicine. Um, I'm not a traditional benchtop research tech person, so it really meant a lot to me that I could curate my skills in both qualitative research and educational research, and then use that to benefit not only my peers, but people outside of Tufts as well. For me, I think my most valuable experience definitely has been given the opportunities to have our summers, definitely going to different internships and see different fields within the veterinary fields because there's a lot of different opportunities. Uh, last summer I got the opportunity to work at UVM um, under the biosecurity plan um, under Dr. Julie Smith and it was a lot of fun just getting to work with farmers and collaborate with different people in Vermont um, with different aspects of the food system and also just um, having the secure um, food supplies and things like that, but also just gaining the perspective of public health in our daily curriculum at the DVM program has been very beneficial because you get a different perspective and I think a lot of um, our education is to incorporate that throughout our education, so it's been very valuable. Describe your journey in the DVM MPH program in three words. Um, for me, it's been challenging, but also very rewarding. Um, we're pushed in a different way to think than a lot of other students are. Um, you know, we're not just thinking about what the lab work's going to look like, but we're also thinking about how we're pushed to think, how are they going to afford this type of care? How are they going to be able to work into the food system? So you're thinking in a much broader sense than a lot of the other curriculum pushes you to. Um, and that does come with its rewards where you're able to see your work come to fruition. And although it's not an adjective, I think of us as a family and that's one of the big words that comes to mind. It's some of these people become my best friends. Um, I came in during the COVID class and the girls in my cohort ended up becoming the first people that I knew here. Um, Courtney and Vasily, we've become so close and runners also joined our little family. So like it's, it's become a, a really good cohort to have a family within a family of Tufts. Um, for me, I think impactful, um, collaborative, and also dynamic are the three words that come to mind. I think like in public health, you have such an impact um, in both fields, the human and animals, and of course the environment as well. So I think it's really beneficial having that education. Um, I also um, believe what Rachel was saying, like we are a family, we collab off of each other, we go to classes and talk um, throughout all our like learning and things like that about what we're learning in uh, each of our respective like interests, but also um, what we bring to the table for public health in general. And it's a lot of fun with us, I think. <laughs> uh, the first word I would use is busy. There's sort of <laughs> no getting around that, but um, the DVM and MPH program makes a big effort to integrate the, the course material in a way that's um, very doable and also promotes a work-life balance. And then secondly, I would say engaging. All of the course material I've had so far this year has been something that's really exciting and interesting to me, and I come eager to learn something new every day. Um, and then finally, I would say social. A lot of the classes in the uh, first year DVM program are lecture based, and so I appreciate the opportunity in the MPH program to have more deep and thoughtful conversations with my peers and my instructors and share my experiences and learn from their perspectives as well. What are your future plans after graduation or what impact do you plan to have with your DVM and MPH degrees? I was very lucky where I was offered my dream job in the summer between my second and third year. Um, I really want to work for APHIS, uh, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services, which is under the USDA, and make an impact in swine biosecurity and foreign animal disease. So I am in the Saul T. Wilson Scholarship Program, which provides me some funding now, and I work part-time for the USDA, and I'm guaranteed a job with the USDA Veterinary Services when I graduate, which was my dream coming into this program. 
um, from there. I am guaranteed at least two years with them, and I do intend to pursue a PhD in swine biosecurity. Kind of following in similar footsteps, I also see a PhD in my future, specifically in entomology, so I can further my expertise in honeybee medicine. I think that honeybees are one of the most per like perfect personifications of uh, public health and one health. And as objectively the littlest and subjectively the cutest livestock out there, I cannot wait to care for them as a veterinarian. Um, but with that said, I also have a very, very big passion for the intersection of affordable veterinary care and human health. So I would love to be able to contribute my skills to a community-based clinic that can help animal owners no matter what their walks of legs are. Because at the end of the day, human health is animal health and animal health is human health. And I cannot wait to contribute to that and make that a priority. Yeah, I'm also very interested in the fields of research after graduation. Um, I mentioned before my interest in wildlife and I'd love to continue working for possibly a state or federal government um, agency that oversees wildlife or working for an academic institution like Tufts University that um, is engaged with wildlife research, conservation, things like that. So every veterinarian swears an oath to protect public health, but those with an MPH actually have the credentials, the skills, and the knowledge to fulfill it. I hope you'll consider applying for the DVM MPH program, and I hope to see you around.